Hey everybody, welcome to Flying with Big Earn. Hey, today what we're gonna do is do an unboxing of this new Helix Pro Roller that uh, I was an early backer on uh, by a company called Strong Bags. Now, Strong Bags is owned by one of our pilots here at our airline, which I think is really cool. I love the entrepreneurial spirit in some of our guys that are here. But uh, what I wanted to do was back this project, which uh, I was an early backer on, because of this ergonomic handle that it had on the suitcase. So when going through the airports and all that good stuff, sometimes that handle gets a little jacked up. Well, Strong Bags has come up with a solution. So you are going to see an unboxing right now. I've not unboxed it yet. Also, I'm not a paid subscriber for Strong Bags. I just got to put that out there right, right now. Um, but I did back them early on this project because I believed in the project. So without further ado, let's open up this box. I'm seeing it just like you guys are seeing it. And uh, if you decide to order a strong bag, uh, this is what you're going to get. All right, so this is how it comes. Uh, plastic bag protects it, obviously, from uh, the shipping. So, uh, man, overall, uh, just like a lot of the strong bag uh, products that they have, feels really tough, like construction-wise. The uh, fabric on there is... Uh, it is really sturdy so you're not going to rip this thing uh getting it in and out of you know me i fly a 737 uh our uh our place where we put our bags kind of gets caught up on a lot of things so it seems like this is pretty pretty sturdy uh overall uh just first impressions again it's it's a it's a pretty pretty beefy uh a bag but it's not overly heavy uh i use a travel works bag right now you know, uh, with the metal frame, and that tends to get a little bit heavy uh, toting it around the airport. Maybe I should just need to get it stronger. But um, this, so far, is not super, super heavy. Uh, it does have the hook. That's an important feature for uh, a lot of us uh, air crew, uh, making sure that we take our food on the road or anything else that you want to hook. Some pilots uh, hook up their brain bags on this with iPads and all that. So that's a, that's a pretty neat feature. Also, it looks like you're able to... Uh, hook on another bag here with uh, with the addition of, of this hook. Uh, you have another space that you could put another bag there too if you are a super hauler of stuff uh, when you go out on the road. So overall the uh, the inside of the bag is pretty big. Um, they do have this bar here uh, as you're putting your clothes in. Uh, we'll, we'll load it up with clothes. We'll take it out on a, on a real uh, trip and kind of see how that goes on packing but uh, zippers feel real sturdy as far as the back go we have another uh, spot here for for stuff the wheels feel really really smooth so we'll kind of wind that on there it's what we've all been waiting for uh, the reason why I got this strong bag was for this handle here so Pull this sucker out. I like the uh, carbon fiber handle there. All right. And so, yeah. Just first impression, it's, it is a little funky to kind of, just because I haven't dealt with this before or uh, seen this kind of handle before. So it, it is a little odd as you're rolling it after years of rolling my other roller bag. I can see how that's going to take a little bit to get used to. All right, guys, uh, we kind of went over the hook a little bit earlier. I figured it'd be better to demonstrate a uh, strong bag, a uh, cooler bag that we have that uh, is necessary on all trips that I take. So you have the ability to drop it in this hook here, throw another bag here if you do have another bag, or you can even put your cooler bag on this. But here's what I thought was pretty cool too. Most people have a backpack that they would put on top of here. Now with two bars, it makes it a little more stable. But uh, Strong Bag has put this system where you can come in and hook it up to this D-ring here to provide a little more stability since it is the single, single bar uh, for the handle. Or if you wanted to put your uh, cooler bag up here, you would just put your cooler bag and then strap it in down to the bottom. And then that way your cooler bag could be up here if you're just carrying a single bag or for some reason you want to do that. Um, I always kick mine down here and uh, kind of roll up like that. But I do have a backpack that I carry with me. So backpack's going to have to go on there with the straps around there. We'll see how it works on its first, uh, first voyage out on the next trip. 
So pretty excited. Excited to see uh, what it's all about. guys it is game time uh, after two weeks of sitting reserve and not getting used I finally got a trip I uh, picked up a three-day trip so we are gonna try out this strong bag as you can see they are identical in size although the uh, I said uh, travel works it's actually called luggage works uh, is the name of this bag um, it's one of those ones with the iron frame around it so it's got a little hard uh, frame that keeps it pretty uh, pretty sturdy and stout. I have ops tested it. Uh, I had my bag run over <laughs> by a uh, van and uh, yeah, it's still kicking. Look at that. Uh, it is nine years old so there is that but uh, we're gonna try out the strong bag for today's trip. Uh, I packed this one uh, for a three-day trip so everything you see in there is basically what I take with me on my trip so we are going to put it into this one this new bag and kind of see how it goes so uh, from one bag to the other uh, that's another true representation of kind of how i travel and we'll just throw it in this guy bam there you go all right so you can see this uh luggage works bag has uh it's pretty wide on the inside. One thing I did notice about the strong bag, this is uh, basically everything that was in that bag now in here, and it is a little bit tighter. So it doesn't have the extra room on the sides as this one has. So I've kind of had to scrunch everything in there. Also, uh, my shoes. Pro tip, don't be that pilot that wears running shoes out with white socks, shorts, Come on, man, come on. Anyways, uh, so I bring extra shoes and my running shoes slash workout shoes. Obviously, you guys know about my workout gear that I take with me on all my trips. Um, it's a little tight. It's a little, little bit tight, I have to say. So obviously not as much room as the luggage works uh, bag. Um, and as I go to try to zip this sucker up, I could tell it's gonna be a little, a little stuff. This is an honest trial of this whole bag deal. So I want to give you guys honest feedback so far. Yeah, it's uh, it doesn't fit as much as my last bag did. So uh, right off the bat, that's kind of one negative that I found on it. Um, I just got to adjust my packing. Uh, maybe I was that guy that was packing too much and taking it on my trips. But all right, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Was able to zip it up. It does give a little bit of uh, play there. So um, even though it's kind of bulging out a little bit, uh, I could still put, you know, some things in here in this little sleeve and that little sleeve too. Probably not, not too much. It has to be flat, whatever I put in there. Um, but it did zip up. So everything that I take in my previous bag does fit in this bag. And that's the way it looks. All right, there they are side to side. Um, just the frontal view of it. Uh, you can tell it does look like the luggage works bag is a little wider. Um, and you know, I could just verify that it is a little wider. It's also a little bit taller too. If you can see here, definitely the points go to luggage works as far as the inside container holding a lot of, uh, a lot of your gear, but the thing packs away pretty nice. I'm pretty sure the strong bag is going to fit much nicer in the, uh, storage place on the 737 than my luggage works it did catch the side quite a bit as you can see a little tear there and that's just from that's just from going in and out of that 737 it's not 
ideal like you airbus guys that have that huge area to keep your uh to keep your bags but um yeah that's that's kind of what we got the one thing i will say uh that i know even though it's a lot a lot more narrow i think getting in and out rolling it in and out that's kind of one of the big problems that we have on the 737 is that believe it or not guys get injured uh, tearing rotator cuffs and um you know lifting their bags and trying to get it into that storage area just because it gets hung up uh from time to time uh as you put it in and out but this is very narrow um it's just streamlined with the side of the bag so uh, i can't wait to try that out that's uh it's probably going to make it a lot easier to put it in and out so to speak but yeah uh, i'm excited to try it out um I, I didn't want this video to go too long i just kind of wanted to showcase this strong bag really quick uh just kind of what i did when i bought it um how it came and you know i'll give you guys a full report uh in the next video and we're going to talk about some more stuff on the 737 and uh, maybe get some pre-flight stuff on that. But just a quick video this week, um, just highlighting this bag. So far, um, it, it carries a little bit less. I'm a little disappointed in that, but um, it is very streamlined. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be pretty happy with uh, taking it through the airport with that new uh, handle on the bag and also putting it into the 737. I think that's gonna be a joy in my shoulders. You know, I'm getting older, so my shoulders will thank me uh, for that as well. But uh, we'll give you a new report on that on next week's video. But for now, you guys stay safe out there and we will see you again on another video next week. Take care.